Hello viewers, welcome you all back to our channel. The last tip in this series is question to interviewer. So normally in every interview, the candidate is given an opportunity to question the interviewer at the end. Interviewer uh, uh, posts a question like, do you have any questions or do you need any uh, clarification or something like that. So if effectively used, that would be the great opportunity for the candidate to seal their job and it can also flip the interviewer's decision at the last minute it's kind of the trump card that's given to the candidates so let's see how that works interviewers given opportunity to candidates to ask their questions it used to be at the end of the interview this question can either confirm uh, or get your job rejected so if properly utilized this can seal your job or it can even waste the opportunity Avoid personal questions to interviewers. Don't throw any personal questions to interviewers. Something like uh, their work location or uh, about their education background or what sort of job, I mean their job nature. Try to avoid these type of personal questions to interviewer. Avoid any questions about salary package or perks at the company. Right. Normally for the freshers, there won't be a negotiation discussion in most of the interviewers but if you are not a fresher and if you are already experienced and if you are looking out for the salary package discussion wait for that topic to be raised by the interviewers you don't jump into that topic and you don't open up that salary package negotiation discussion because uh, that could be taken in the wrong sense as well so you need to wait until that comes into picture raise better questions on organization vision mission or work culture to show genuine interest to work there right in order to ask this question you need to do a little amount of homework assume you go for an interview to xyz company then you need to spend at least 10 to 15 minutes to read the latest news about the uh, organization and then you should frame your questions about that organization uh, be it on their vision mission or even their work culture they could be having some global diver di diversity and then they could be working up with multinational clients or if they if they work on for the local people then you can also ask questions on their objectives this gives an impression that the candidate has a real intention or real interest towards that company so i hope that is clear so if you ask a better question definitely you can ask even two to three questions okay no one will be stopping you but if all the two to three questions are really worthy definitely that will make interview to rethink even if you even if they have uh, rejected you out of the previous set of questions they it will make you if it will make them to think that this candidate is having really good attitude and this candidate is showing some real interest towards the organization so that that person will be able to contribute much for the organization so it produces that impression and that's how it works so i hope it is clear and this is the last trump card that's given to candidate all right so with that we are coming to the end of this eight tip series i hope you would have enjoyed this series if you would like to re-watch all the videos you can access all the videos from my playlist thank you so much thanks for watching stay stay connected meet you all in the next video